Reefers, I'm Daniel from Corlos, and today I'm showing you how to drill a tank, what you're gonna need, and all the little tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So, check it out. If you've ever had to make an overflow using a bulkhead, or one of my favorite things here is this Uniseal. So, one of the reasons why I'm switching over from the Uniseal from the bulkhead is because when you have a bulkhead and it's screwed in your tank, there's no flex. So, if you even bump this, it's going to crack your glass, as what happened to me. Um, but if you use this Uniseal, it stays soft and it's rubber and there's nothing hard, so you can actually flex this in all directions and it will not crack um, as easily. So, and it has a lot more give. So, that's the reason. Um, anyway, and they're a whole heck of a lot easier to put in. You don't have to tighten them, all kinds of good stuff. But you do have to push pretty hard when you put them in. Um, so okay, so right up I'm going to show you guys one of my tricks that I like to do. Since I'm drilling this, I, this tank's empty, I could stand it up, but I'm trying to show you guys the, the way I do it, just so, so you know in case you ever have to drill an overflow box and you're halfway down your tank, you lower your water, but you want to put this custom sleek um, ghost box in there, it's pretty cool. So a lot of people will just drill the tank, drain it halfway, um, but this is a great way to do it, so let me show you. Now, I don't know how long this plumber's putty lasts for, but I bought some extra just in case this was um, not salt. But So what you do is you take some plumber's putty, and you're going to need a decent amount. It's got to be able to hold the water. What you're going to need to do is take the size of your drill bit. So whatever unit seal you're using, you have to check. There's always a hole size that is specific for that size unit seal. So make sure your bulkhead, whatever, just look for the factory specs and they'll tell you what drill to use. So right here I'm using a two and a half inch drill bit. So, and this is a diamond bit, you make sure it's diamond for a reason, when you're cutting through glass you need a diamond bit. Um, so I took the plumber's putty, since I have the bit right here in front of me, I'm gonna take the putty and I'm actually gonna mold it as best I can around this thing. I also made another little like long pretzel part of the plumber's putty, and I'm going to use that to make a lip to hold the water in, because what we're going to use is the water to help cut the glass a little bit nicer, so I'm going to show you how we'll do that. Alright, there's something I just want to warn you guys in case you're not familiar with tools and you're just going out and buying um, one of these diamond bits. One is they usually just come by themselves, this is just the size, the hole saw that you need. Um, and you have to buy this piece. This is the attachment so you can change the heads. So, and yeah, usually these are spring loaded. If you get a nice one, this is just a quick change. You thread it on, lock it in place, and it's ready to go. But when you're using diamond hole saws, you have to make sure you remove this drill bit or you will shatter your glass. So, those are just a couple things. See, so you, you do not want to poke with the tip of your thing. That'll mess it up. Here you can see what I did with the plumber's putty. I made myself just a little collection cup for the water. Um, you like to keep the diamond blade wet. It really does help. So, I'll pour some in there. Once I get the blade lined up, I'll even put more on there. This does, like I said, a really good job holding it. So... You just want to keep steady pressure on, line up your hole. They sell special bits for holding this in place, but I'm going to just try to do my best. Okay, I almost didn't show you guys this one, but then I realized um, it's happened to other people and it's a pretty big deal. If you're cutting an empty tank, you may not even be thinking this could happen, but if you drill through here, the glass is going to fall down and it's going to crack whatever's, you know, the bottom under there. So either you can put a pillow, a blanket, something under there, or you can take tape 
and you know where that hole is going to be. You can put some tape underneath of it. Once you get through, you'll know. So there's that. We got our ring. Now a lot of people will put a little pressure on just one side until they fill it dig in, then they'll, they'll level it out. So that's one easier way to start if you're having trouble.
Thank God I taped that, because that would have went boom, it would have hit the side probably. Anyway, I was so afraid to break that on camera, so I was like extra gentle. Normally I put some decent amount of pressure on it and it drills pretty quickly, and I give a good speed. But there you go, we drilled through it. Um, it wasn't tempered, that's great, the glass didn't shatter. so. Awesome. Let me clean this up and then I can move on to the next step. Okay, we made it through. We cleaned it up a little bit. Um, you can see how I was moving around in the beginning. I wasn't holding enough pressure on the saw. And without a guide, it just walks around until you form a little groove. That's why some people, when they're starting off, they'll put a little pressure on one edge just to dig in and then they'll hold it level after they get it centered. So that's why I held my hand and just wrapped a piece of cardboard around it because the water helps it and I just wanted to kind of make it um, a little easier for myself. So depending on your situation, these are just a few tips. Now you can see this is the uniseal. Instead of the bulkhead, this thing just pops right in. And then you'll take your pipe. And I always recommend putting a little um, oil on the outside, some kind of lubricant and then twisting it and sliding it in, even chamfering the edge a little bit can help. Take it, drag it on the cement or something, or if you have a belt sander, sand it. But um, those are things that definitely help. So and then once you get it that in there, this will stay a little bit flexible versus the bulkhead, like I said, will, if you bump it at all, will shatter the glass. So thanks for watching, and as always, happy reefing. Please feel free to leave your questions or comments below, and until next time.